Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Figma Saber figure. That's your name in Japanese, that's your name in English. This is the show she's from, Fate Stay Night. I haven't yet watched this show, unfortunately. I plan to, just haven't gotten around to it yet, so I can't really comment on the likeness, but I can talk about the figure. So that's what we're going to do. Now this is the first version, this is the original release, and this is the packaging for it. The new one has different packaging, also a different number, so depending on which one you want to get, be aware of that. Uh, I assume the new one is larger, I'm pretty sure I've heard that it is, and I assume that they made it better, otherwise why would they make a new one? Uh, there is So the V2 is different. Uh, this one looks like a pretty darn good figure though. Uh, right now I've kind of got it pulled apart, but it does look really cool. Stick around till the end of the video so I can show you some photos of her in action. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and look at the figure itself now. She stands about five and a quarter inches tall. I would imagine the new one's about five and a half, maybe five and three quarters. And she comes with some cool accessories. Uh, first of all, she has a wind-swept hair accessory. Be careful of this top piece. It looks like it would be easy to break. She has alternate faces. This is her angry face. This is her I don't care face. And this is her... Uh, hey, I'm yelling now, face. Looks good, they did a good job with the paintwork, uh, or whatever you call that application. She has six extra hands, so she has the two sword gripping hands, and then she has an open palm hand, a finger pointing hand, two clenched fists, and then two loose hands, and this hand has a hole in it, so that you can pose her, I'll show you on the packaging, and then... I might pose it like that later, but that's just so you can tuck the sword in her hand into her palm. So that's what that's for. I don't really need to take it apart to show you that. And now the favorite, my favorite part of the figure, the swords and the scabbards. These things are incredibly well done. Incredibly, if this is any sign, now this is a really old figure, if this is any sign of the detail they're going to put into the Lucina figure, I am super pumped. Look at the amount of detail. This one's all sculpted. Everything on it is sculpted. So we have tons of sculpted detail and then we have all the paint detail on top of that. So this is the smaller of the two swords. Looks cool. And then we even have all this extra detail going down the blade. That is incredible. They did such a good job on this. This is why the import figures are so much of a better value even though they cost more than domestic figures most domestic figures they actually go the extra mile some companies still do like NECA or uh, NECA uh, I can't think of any others offhand all the other ones are giving us laziness but we'll not talk about that now and then this one look at that application I know someone didn't paint that by hand obviously but still you don't see clean lines like that on domestic figures you just don't that looks so good on mo I should say again, most domestic figures. This one has a little bit less detail, but still, what is there is really well done. And then we have some, looks like some kanji on there. I can't quite tell, it's too small. Um, yeah, maybe kanji, I can't really tell. Okay, so let's look at the figure. She does come with the standard Figma display stage baggy and all that stuff, so we don't need to talk about that. Now the figure has... A good amount of detail also you can see all of these markings on her chest armor and then all of the sculpt work very cool uh, I do think the armor sculpting is maybe a little bit too soft it doesn't quite have the edge look to it that I would like uh, maybe the new one does this is really good sculpt work down here really well painted also it's a very nice looking figure overall once you get it posed it's pretty cool so the articulation for the head is standard Figma articulation. I can probably show that to you without risking breaking it, eh, but I'm not going to risk it anyway. Uh, so we have the hinge and then of course it pegs into the head so that gives us more articulation. Really any way you want to move the head you can do it. The neck is not articulated on this figure so that's something to be aware of. None of the hair parts or the ribbon are articulated. This looks like it could be easily broken. It's not soft plastic so be careful about that. For the shoulders, standard Figma joints, there's a ball peg that goes into the torso that lets the whole thing move around. Then we have a hinge that lets the arm move up and down. This is just a soft piece that's on top. It's not actually connected to anything, so this will move around with the arm. It's just, it's just there to hide the joint. We also get our bicep swivel out of that shoulder joint. 
So it's actually, it looks like it would be really limited, but it's not. It's just a little tiny bit limited and it looks good. So that's nice. One thing to note, this is a loose piece. The chest armor is a separate piece. So that will move around a little bit. <clears throat> so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. And they even painted what was underneath, even though you can't see it most of the time. So that's good. Uh, standard elbow hinge, really nothing to talk about there. You can rotate the gauntlet on this side. I know because it works. And then the hand is obviously hinged and pegged. Uh, this side, I can't get the gauntlet to rotate. I don't know if uh, the guy that owns this, which is Drunk Panda Inc. Thanks for sending these to me to review, by the way. Uh, I don't know if this one's stuck or if he glued it or if it's not meant to or what, but this gauntlet doesn't want to rotate. Maybe that's normal, maybe it's not, I can't say. We have a, let's see, is it just a ball peg? Um, yeah, it's just a ball peg for this articulation, but it works well. You don't see inside too much, so that looks pretty good. This is not painted. It seems like it should be, but it's not. Maybe it's not supposed to be. I don't know. Can't say. And then we have another ball peg that goes from the hip joints into this piece. So that black piece will move around. I can't get to it right now, but it's on a ball peg also. And then we have the hips. Or wait a minute. Maybe that black piece doesn't move. Maybe it's down here. I think the articulation is not actually at the black piece. I think it's under the skirt. And that's why you can move that blue piece around. That's what it seems like to me. Okay, I was wrong. So yeah, the joint comes underneath here instead of at the black piece. So that's why I couldn't get it to move. That's still good though. You get really good range of motion on this figure. Uh, the hips are standard Figma hips, which means it's a ball peg for either socket. The socket moves around, of course, and then we have a thigh swivel that moves around on top of that. Knee joints, standard Figma knees. They actually don't look so bad on this figure. They don't stand out so much and we get good range of motion and they're hidden fairly well. So I don't mind him. I mean, they do stick out like this, but we've seen much worse, so I'm okay with it. And then we have the cool leg armor that hides it, so that's good. And then the ankles are, again, standard Figma hinges, but we do get a decent range of motion out of them the way they tuck in when you bring that up. Pretty good range of motion. Uh, you're not going to be able to rotate them too well to get an ankle rocker, but I imagine you could make it work. So I'm okay with that. And then lastly, we have all of this armor stuff going on. Really, it's not as complicated as it looks. There's a single hinge on each one in the back. That blue hinge right there. It's just like all the other Figma hinges. So you can s rotate on either end. Can I, let's take that off. It should come out. Yeah. So you can rotate on either way, obviously. You can rotate where it pegs in here or where it pegs onto the hinge. So you can move them that way. And then we have the hinge. And then these are actually articulated also. You can bring the white, pe white piece out and you can rotate the blue piece and the white piece because they're connected but that moves that way so it shouldn't impede the articulation too much so it's pretty well planned out I'd like to see the new one at some point just to see what they did better because this figure looks like they did a pretty good job on it and I'll put that back on later so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and post some photos here so you can see her in action but it looks like a good figure so I have to say I recommend it if you like Fate Stay Night and Saber then this is one to get and if the new one's even better then Definitely get that too, or at least get that one. Uh, but these are good. I like it. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to have to watch this anime. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>